Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in on that boy Russ one time, man. Y'all know Russ. Russ known for always, you know, putting his honest opinions on the rap game, letting it be known what he got going on. He really be giving or dropping a lot of jewels and tools that niggas need to use and really abuse on their grind to get to that next level in the rap game. But, you know, Russ gonna come out. He going to pop his shit, and some people going to get in their feelings, but dog be speaking facts. But Russ came out and showed and posted the receipts, man. He done did 10 M's off this rap shit on niggas, man. And, hey, it ain't like it's a real competition thing. Like, I'm competing with y'all niggas, but, hey, I'm letting y'all know, nigga, I done grinded, stayed down with this shit. And he telling niggas, bro, you ain't got to go with what everybody else doing. Go after your bag. And I got a lot of supporters on this channel who rap. And they be asking me for advice. And I'm going to come give you the game that I get from niggas who in it. You know what I'm saying? Because I listen to these niggas when they speak. I pay, I'm pay. i a nigga that know how to pay attention to the motherfucking message and not the messenger. I take shit for what it is. What I need to cut out this information, I cut it out. Whatever I need to ignore and organize the facts and the opinions, how they need to be organized, that's what a nigga going to do. So, Russ, that nigga spoke some real shit. I'm going to put you, I'm going to read the tweet that he spoke out on and what he said. Russ say, hey, ever since shit started working for me with this music shit, I often think about, damn, what if I would have stopped after those 11 mixtapes? Can't lose if you don't quit. If it's your truth, keep going regardless of what the fuck people are saying. Total earn, 10, 10 million, my bad, I almost fucked up, 10 million and... 3,087. Hey, this nigga not fucking around with niggas, man. Then that nigga say, hey, I ran up 10 million off independent catalog alone. No trial, zoo, shake the snow, glow. Them the tapes. I remember $1,000, making $1,000 of saying to myself, if I can make a thousand, then I can make 10,000. If I can make 10,000, I can make a motherfucking 100,000, et cetera. Reality is, this is just a lot of time and effort mixed with consistency and motherfucking and meaningful relationship with the fans from all over the motherfucking world. Low key, fuck the goddamn, fuck the money, nigga. That's what he's saying. Though I'm hella grateful, I'm just glad y'all fuck with the message and music seeing y'all. I'ma see y'all at 50 million. Hey, Russ, pop your shit, my nigga. I gotta congratulate that nigga, Russ, bro, because he really stayed down and grinded, man. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta talk that shit with them because I like to have my respect and show. I like to respect and give niggas they flowers. I might not agree with everything niggas do at times. Not speaking on Russ, but in general, or I might not even like a nigga music. But I'm the type of nigga like this, bro. I become fans of niggas music sometimes just because them niggas be going the fuck off with the work ethic. Look at all these artists, bro, who just came in this bitch. Nobody want to fuck with them. Nobody want to show them love, but they just stay consistent with they shit, bro. Niggas didn't think they was the best rappers. Niggas didn't think they was the best lyricists. But them niggas was dropping videos every week, dropping singles every week. Russ been giving the game and the blueprint. A lot of these niggas out here, bro, and they not obligated to. Ain't nobody obligated to. They not finna give you their motherfucking blueprint. Russ gave niggas the blueprint, nigga. I was dropping a single every Friday. You know what I'm saying? Nigga did 11 mixtapes, man. 11 of them bitches. Kept dropping music every Friday, keeping this shit in niggas' faces. The niggas say, hey, man, I was looking at my analytics on my tape. Nigga did motherfucking 11 mixtapes. Well, I, I was dropping tapes, but niggas was only listening to the first few songs of the tape, and then they fade off. So what do he say? You know what? I'm going to come back that. I'm going to drop one song every Friday for these niggas. He did that. That was a way. Stay consistent. The nigga didn't gave the game on how to deal with lawyers, managers, what you shouldn't and shouldn't be signing for. Niggas say, man, hey, nigga, if you need a lawyer, you need to have a motherfucking lawyer that's working by the hour. They shouldn't be getting a piece of your goddamn money. But see them label heads? Because there's some niggas out here that think that the labels and these other motherfuckers who don't know shit be having your best interest. Nah, nigga, fuck that. Listen to the nigga going through the experience that's giving you this game up for free and then go do your real research because a lot of this shit be real life common sense, but a lot of 
common sense be real motherfucking uncommon in the game, bro. And then you got some niggas, they know better, but they just say shit, and then they don't want to say that they wrong once they realize, okay, I said some dumb ass shit, but I don't want to look like I fucked up, so I'm going to just ride this dumb ass live, or I'm going to just ride out this opinion, because I don't want this nigga to be right, because a lot of niggas be doing that whole ass shit with me when I'm tapped in and shit. We gonna talk about this shit on live tonight though. But shout out to Russ. We know a lot of niggas don't fuck with Russ because they looking at the messenger and not the motherfucking message. But Russ be popping this shit. Shout out to Russ, nigga. Keep winning. Now we know, nigga, you, you fucking around with Russ. What might happen? Me, I don't promote violence on this platform. I talk about violence. I speak on it because you know that's what the rap game is in a certain sense. We gotta cover it all, but it's never to promote it. And keep that shit going, but I'll tell you like this, nigga. We know Russ fucking around with Russ, nigga. <laughs> this shit get real. But uh, subscribe to the no. Oh yeah. Also, man, before I tap out, I, I did want to come in also on this and give a big shout out to Bankroll Fresh. He was, you know, killed years ago on this day right here. Bankroll Fresh, one of the hottest coming up out of Atlanta, doing this motherfucking thing. Style was was crazy with this shit, bro. The flow was crazy, the consistency, the way he was dropping, shooting the videos. Bankroll Fresh was most definitely doing his thing. Lost his life in the situation where he was shot. A uh, big misunderstanding between him and, um, we know, uh, No Plug and everything like that. They crews had an issue or something of that nature. That's some real street shit, so we ain't even getting into that. You can look online if you want to see any of that type of shit going on. But shout out, rest in peace, just condolences to the family of Bankroll Fresh and everything like that. And then also, uh, I want to shout out to motherfucking Speaker Knockers, man, Columbia, South Carolina, uh, South Carolina, bro. Or oh, is it North? Yeah, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, shout out to North Carolina also. Um, it's one of them things, bro. Where you see these artists like this, there's different reports of how he passed away. So I just really want to send the condolences to him, speaking knockers. Everybody know the track Lonely, Influence, Impact the Game, Dog was going crazy, making good music, stamping, was very creative all around with that music shit, man. So condolences to the homie, dog, to both of them, to both of them creators, man. I like to give boys they. They, they they roses, man, and let them know, like, I still be jamming nigga shit, man. You know, Van Dan that that live doing this shit how I want to live. That bankroll fresh still go crazy to me. The, that flow what he got in that fast bag. He had different flows, but that fast bag. And that nigga, speaker knockers with that harmonizing, that little flavor he had was hard as fuck. So, man, shout out to both of them brothers, man. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. Follow me on Instagram, urban politicians underscore big ant, man. One thousand. We got more shit coming.